All right, so a while back I made a video called Fishing for Catfish Back to Basics, I think is what it was called. And I was telling you guys a story about this fishing spot that I had a long time ago that we had made. And it was a really, really cool place. And some of you guys had asked me to make a video of showing you what it looks like now. I haven't been out there in years. It's been a long, long time. But I figured, what the heck? So I'm right here on the road that leads to it. Uh, I could see like someone's been driving back in this way, but let's see where where we end up and see what it looks like. But it's been years since I've been out here. Let's see if I remember how to get out here. <laughs> tracks and people have been coming back in here. I think they probably come up to a certain point. There's a certain place you get to and then you can walk on down. And the river's down here on the right. That's not where I, that's not where my spot was. And I'm thinking people drive down here and then that's where they end up going. You guys don't mind the little nails on the chalkboard sound. See so right here, if you go down in there, you can get to the river right here. But you have to really know this area to know that. So you get to my spot, keep on going. Found this place. This used to be just an old cow track. I come out here with a shovel and clean up the road a little bit. So we can get out here. go that way anymore. Let me go see what it looks like. Maybe we can drive it or maybe we'll have to walk. Well, there's no tracks at all. It looks like an old wash, really, but we just push the little button, put in four wheel drive, and let's go see where we can go. Wait, where are, where is this place? 
see any other real way to get around. We can walk it from here, I guess. Let's go walk it and find it. walk this far out here carrying a boat and all my equipment just to make this little spot and so, uh, man, let's go see what it looks like <laughs> I have memories of people running around right here Same branch. Used to always hit my hat and take it off. <laughs> oh man. This is it guys right here. This is the spot that I used to have. We brought buckets of sand. There's a the sand hill back over there. And we we carry buckets of sand and we put them right here. And we leveled it out. And we made a soft, soft place to put the tents. We used to hang hammocks. We had one hammock hanging right here. I had my hammock hanging right here. Right here, guys. This is where I had that blue chest buried. Had it buried right here with all the equipment that you needed to camp and fish and all that. We had pots and pans and hooks and weights and salt and pepper seasonings, forks, spoons, not, you name it. It was all in this little chest. And down here, wow. We used to make our campfire right here. Oh, here it is. Our whole campfire. Can't even hardly tell anymore. Man. That duck. I hardly see it anymore, but there was an old beaver dam where all these trees are at. Those fallen cottonwoods. And we took all the branches and stuff that were there and we made a We made a dock right here that went out. This is probably the last one left. This right here is, unless it's chewed out, no, that's not it. But it was like that, starting like this. A dock that went out above all those bulrush. And you can see the water back in behind there and back over there. But I had stairs coming down right here to get to this water, to get to the dock. Dock's gone completely. We had tiki torches on it. When we light up at night, come sit on the dock, fish right off of it. We parked the boat right here. Man, this place brings back a lot of memories, guys. A lot of memories. What a shame that it's all gone now. But yeah. One thing I ask is respect each other's fishing places and clean up after yourselves. If you see something that's out in the middle of nowhere, chances are it's probably out there for a reason. And uh, yeah, just take care of each other. Respect each other. This used to be one of my favorite places. I mean, you can see it's got the canopy overhead. 
always shady, especially here in the in the summer. It gets in the upper hundreds, <laughs> hundred or the upper teens, I guess, in the hundred and twelve, hundred and thirteen. So you need that shade. You need a nice place like this. Yeah, this used to be my old fishing spot. So, anyways, guys. Wanted to bring you and show you this spot. It's been a lot of years since I've been out here. Thanks for encouraging me to come out here one more time and revisit all the memories. I remember sitting out here and one day a, a bull come, come walking up right here and T-Bone come running at him and he just stood, stood off with him. He wasn't even afraid. He was, he was going to battle him if he had to, but he was protecting us. He's always been a good dog. But, so many memories, guys. Now I gotta go find my truck. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.